Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be tackling the kids' rooms. Austin and Layton's rooms were just kind of overtaken by clothes, toys, and all of that. They have been at camp, so they've been busy, so I've been kind of just not really keeping up on them about their rooms so and it definitely shows so we are just going to be straightening up their rooms I'm going to be going through all of their clothes and toys and all of that and just getting rid of some things and getting rid of any clothes that are too small for them or they've outgrown or just really don't wear so that is our plan for today. I hope you enjoy this video. It gives you some motivation and I hope you consider subscribing. So we're starting off in Layton's room with her clothes and then we'll switch over to her toys and then we will head into Austin's room. On a run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought clothes are all done the drawers and her closet and I have a big pile of clothes to give to my neighbor a big pile of clothes to donate and also some stuffies I took from both of them that they like stuff that they've won in like or people have won for them in like those grab claw machines and just things that they literally don't care about or play with so I made the executive decision on some of those to get rid of. But now we're just gonna go through and organize her toys and then we will get to Austin's room. Here I am just going through all of her toys. There's a few things that I got rid of. I did make sure it was fine with her when she got home and a few other things like this little she's like a pretend Keurig machine and a mixer and stuff like that. We moved those down to the basement because we are going to put those in their little outdoor kitchen. So, and we just moved like her LOL camper and the garage and just a few other bigger things that she really doesn't play with all that often, but she still definitely wants to keep. So we have already gone through her room a million and 12 times. So you can see this little Ikea organizer that we have has everything labeled and all of that. So it is pretty easy to put everything back, but we did give a few things away to some friends and also move a few things down in the garage. So we are just getting all of the toys picked up and back in their places.
sick of love songs I'm tired of this And I wanna taste straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless Now that we are in Austin's room, I am just going to do the same thing, go through his toys, and that plate of food was my lunch that wasn't like left in his room, but I made it and I wasn't ready to eat it yet, so <laughs> I ended up taking a break and eating it, but um, I'm just going to go through all of this nightstand and all of these toys, kind of pick things up, get rid of um, any trash that's up there. He had like a water bottle and a few other things. Gonna get his Pokemon cards back in the Pokemon. He has like one of those binders and all of that. So both of them, I pulled a bunch of like craft stuff and things like that out of their rooms. So I'm going to try to go through the craft bin that is out in the dining room today as well to get that taken care of because that is also in dire need of some attention. Not believe how many clothes Austin has outgrown. He is seven and a half and just is outgrowing literally everything he owns. So I was able to get rid of a bunch of clothes for him and we're going to give those to a neighbor of ours that has a little boy. So all of his good clothes will go into good hands and also we are going to donate the ones that have like some stains and just play clothes and things like that. So uh, we are now just finishing up his room and then we just need to tackle his closet. He's got tons of books and all of those kind of things that just really need to be organized and need like a mom's touch because my kids put away their own laundry so you know they are seven and five so <laughs> Sometimes they just throw things in there, we fold it and all of that, and they put it away. But like I said, sometimes it's a little a little messy and definitely you can tell a kid definitely put it away.
The last few things I am going to do is just tidy his bed a little bit and then give the room a good vacuum. I'm gonna like move some furniture and all of that just to, like I said, give it a good mom clean because my kids do clean their own rooms and that includes vacuuming when my husband and I are vacuuming um, the house, which we do at least once a day, like the main living area, but we vacuum their rooms as needed, but they also clean their rooms. So, it is always good to get in there and get it cleaned up to my standards. the to-do list we did Austin's room we tidied his clothes and toys we wiped everything down we vacuumed in both rooms I need to water the plants um, and I'm not doing the craft bin today I'm exhausted <laughs> I like I said I think it's just because it's like a rainy yucky day we've been so busy tons of like beach days and out in the Sun and pool days and all of that Sorry, something was being delivered to the front door distracted me. But um, I'm gonna save the craft bin and the dining room for another day. So Austin's room is all picked up and clean. And I'll show you Leighton's room as well. But we are done for the day. I am now going to go edit all of this. And you guys will see this in a few days. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.